Good evening, everyone. My name is John Marcetizo. I would like to welcome you all here tonight. Seniors and all of our family, friends, teachers, administrators, members of the board, and everyone else showing their incredible support, not only tonight, but all throughout our lives, up until this monumental day that they all get to celebrate with us. Always remember to show your gratitude to the ones who have patiently supported you through all of your hard work and all of your struggles over the last 18 years. Typically, graduation speeches are filled with advice very similar to that piece I just gave. But instead of simply doing that tonight, I ask us all to reflect on the invaluable lessons we've learned here at our last four years in these hallways at Pattonville High School. Having such a wonderful community of peers, teachers, and coaches all around us, I'm sure we can each recall at least one lesson, if not many more, that we have learned during these last four years. After taking a moment of reflection myself, I came up with three really important lessons that I'd like to share that benefited me through all areas of my development at this time at the high school. First, make sure to check and see if you've put your blinders on. The world is so quick to tell us to follow your heart's desires or do what makes you happy. That isn't always our best course of action. In so many high school classes, we use critical thinking or higher level thinking to discern our best course of action. Just because we are no longer bound to our ways of high school does not mean that this is a strategy that we should leave behind. Keep approaching the world with a curiosity for truth and a desire for knowledge, as those will not only help in learning facts, but in discernment as well. Secondly, never be too proud to rely on others. If you're anything like me, asking questions was not something that came easily. I wanted to be the one to figure it out on my own. Always having been classified as a smart kid, I thought I had to figure everything out myself. What I failed to realize until very recently is that I was surrounded by so many caring and capable people whom I could lean on when I faced any kind of struggle, whether that was academic, personal, or otherwise. When you need help, many around you are more than happy to offer a hand, so never be too proud to take it. The final lesson I would like to share with you tonight is one from a, comm a commencement speech given to my AP Lane class taught by Mr. Frazier this past year. The speaker of this speech, David Foster Wallace, urges us to approach the world with openness. Instead of falling into the trap of what Wallace calls our default setting to get frustrated when, such as in the example he gave, the Hummer cuts you off in rush hour traffic, choose to give the driver some slack, offer more forgiveness, and be a little more open to giving them the benefit of the doubt. It certainly takes some conscious effort to do, but if we decide to take this outlook on life, we open ourselves up to the option of happiness, greatly benefiting us in a myriad of ways. Over the last two years, I've struggled with four different injuries to my left knee, which eventually made surgery a necessity. But each of these lessons that I have learned at Pattonville has been able to play a part in my mental recovery. I knew what I needed to do, even if it was not what I preferred, or if it was different than what my friends were doing. I was able to ask for help, even when those questions felt embarrassing, as the tasks were usually relatively simple to accomplish. I woke up every morning intentionally making the choice to be open to happiness, instead of sulking in the self-pity that I certainly had a right to. With these lessons, I have seen a consistent change in the attitude I take toward everyday life. These were the lessons that I learned and helped me most through my development, but that does not mean they have any bearing on you and your situations tonight. My job is not to teach you a lesson, but to get you to recall those invaluable lessons you've learned from the amazing people who have bestowed their wisdom upon you in these last four years. We were lucky to go to a high school that has such an amazing faculty to help us grow and develop as not only students, but also as human beings. So my final piece of advice that I'd like to leave you with tonight is this. Never neglect the people in your life. Every person you encounter has a unique set of knowledge, and there's something that each of them can teach you if you open yourself up to them. Continue to reflect on the lessons you learn, as you never know where you may find one that has a positive impact on the way you think each and every day. 
Congratulations again to such a superb class, and here's to the future, whatever it has in store for us. Thank you.